this is Johnny's B and and for all of you who are just new to my channel and you wanted to learn more of YouTube tips and tutorials please do consider to subscribe and um, hit the like button and of course the notification bell so you'll be updated with my videos and also if you can please share my videos to your community I will truly appreciate that so we will be able to share the right information to the right audience and most of all we try to build the community where we'll be able to help each and every creator to have the right information to write to have all the um, relevant sources for them to be able to know what needs to be done in this situation where you need to address some issues in your YouTube channel you're enjoying you're relaxing and whatever you're doing right now just listen and if you don't want to type it's completely fine but your engagement is very important for me for me to be able to understand if I need to improve more or I need to stop talking or I should continue talking you know so let's go to the most in-demand questions that I've received this past few days why their account has been disabled bakit sila na demonetize bakit sila na close ang account the common reasons I'm just going to discuss with you a few of the common reasons why their account has been disabled because of the invalid traffic you have to understand the source of your views kahit na sabihin mo saan sila nagagaling hindi mo alam but you will be able to identify if you go to analytics and then you go to the rich section the traffic source is very important information for you to have this responsive action na sinasabi because if you are just going to say okay ano ba yung nasa analytics what can i see in my analytics i don't really care about my analytics but this is really super important when i say it's very important because there are several um activities that may arise in your um content in your channel as a whole or in any way because that's the reason why sabi ni youtube is you have to be a responsible creator where you know how to maintain the stream health or the health of your channel or i would say you have to know how to be a responsive creator when i say na invalid traffic alam na natin yan there's some apps that can give you this and that you can just easily go to the google play and search for like blah 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 alam nyo na yan but as this as important as knowing how to get this but it is also important to know the consequences of this action okay so publishers must not must not click the ads in your site. Hindi natin pwedeng panoorin, lalo na kapag nakalogin ka sa sarili mong URL, nakabukas yung YouTube account mo, panonorin, panonorin mo yung ads mo. It looks like bumili ka, ikaw nagbenta, sa tingin mo may tubo ka, of course not. And YouTube will be able to verify this because once you're logged into your Google account, once you're logged into your YouTube channel, that will definitely give them an IP address where this IP address um, connected to this YouTube channel and ikaw then mismo mo ang nagpa-place ng ads it looks like your channel is using an artificial bot ikaw mismo ang nagpa-inflate ng sarili mong ads where you were able to see your ads where you will be able to see your impressions your clicks kasi nga ikaw mismo yung nagbika, nagbukas ng uh, ads that's why meron tayong managed videos for us to be able to check our videos not to open our videos on the YouTube app itself and that's why it's called an automated means or manual means Sana naiintindihan natin yung essence na meron tayong YouTube channel, management videos, content, uh, customized videos. That's why it is available for the creators. Hindi ibig sabihin na pumunta ka sa YouTube channel, i-manual search mo yung pangalan mo, panoorin mo yung videos mo. If you wanted to watch your own videos, you can easily go to your um, hard drive or hard disk, panoorin mo, may maliba, da, may maliba dyan. You have to know as a publisher that when you view your videos in the YouTube channel, you must skip you must skip again i'm emphasizing it that you must skip the ads so that advertiser cost will not be added in as like it will look like an artificial um inflation of unintention 
intentional and intentionally. Hindi mo sinasadya na panoorin yung sarili mong video. Of course, sinasadya mo yan. You cannot justify, oh, bigla ko lang kasi nabuksan. No, of course not. You have the intention to open it for you to be able to see ads coming here and there. That's why kapag nagla-live ka, if you guys are doing live and this phone is open in your YouTube channel, nakikita mo yung sarili mo, anong nangyayari, ads are going through, ikaw mismo ang nanonood ng sarili mong live. And that's the reason why nababawasan ka ng income during your live streaming and you will see that ads is going through at hindi mo siya ini-skip. And that's why it's not advisable for all the live streamer to open your YouTube account, yung parang pinapanood mo yung sarili mo, you are one of the viewers of your own um, live streaming, it's not advisable. That's the reason reason why publishers when viewing your videos you must skip your ad and you are not going to inflate it unintentionally of watching your own live i hope that's clear enough paano malalaman ni youtube nas ikaw mismo yung nanonood of course your ip address you are logged in that's why sinasabing ip at saka yung mac pagkakaiba ng mac address is when you are offline but when you are online it's called ip address and i hope that's clear so if you like more information about this of course you can just go to the advertisers policy and check nyo talaga kung tama ba yung sinasabi ni janice b o hindi but anyway anyhow uh let's proceed so one of um sabihin of one or more users repeatedly clicking ads. Halimbawa, sinabi ko kay Jehan, Jehan, i-click mo, mo yung ads ko. Paulit-ulit niyang ginagawa yun. Paulit-ulit niyang ginagawa yun. And this will be uh, verified after publishers check that there was inflation. Para bakit nga, di ba nasabi ko na earlier that when a publisher must not um, artificially inflate by asking someone to click their, click to click. Parang sinasabi mo, ay, panoorin mo yung channel ko ha, one hour. Parang you are trying to inflate the click of that or the impression of that particular channel in one IP address. And that's why sinasabi mo kapag ikaw ay pinlay mo yan ng pinlay, pinilup mo ng nilup. And that is, yung yung sinasabi nila, oh I will play you uh, 1000 watch hours. Come to think about it, bakit siya nababawasan, bakit siya bumababa? Because it's coming from one IP address. If you are practicing this kind of activity, you better say, you can just only give 24 hours of playlist. Yung parang pinanood mo lang siya, but don't loop it. Because once you loop it, okay lang siya na ilo. Para sabihin mo, ah, tumataas naman siya, but definitely there will be fluctuation. Kaya sinasabi nga nila na, ha, kanina sabi 48 hours na meron ako, but definitely naging 12 na lang siya, naging ganyan. Because of these activities. Maniwala man kayo hindi, basta yun yung um, sinasabi sa policy ni YouTube that once you um, artificially inflate by asking one viewer to keep on repeatedly clicking your videos or clicking your ads or letting it go, na parang sabihin mo na, ha? Huh? Na-monetize siya with just one one IP watching her. Don't encourage or ask your friends or any one of your family to click your ads. If you have, you know, testers, Ma makikita at makikita mo to madali itong makikita, madali itong ma-identify kasi nagpa-fluctuate yung number of views mo or nagpa-fluctuate yung inyong analytics to test ads on your YouTube channel please skip it, wag nyong paglaruan wag nyong itry, wag wala kasi publishers may not ask to click their ads kaya niya sinasabi yun because magkakaroon kasi ng hindi na siya healthy eh because I can say na para lumaki yung income ko ah uh, ako mismo ang maglalagay ng sariling pera sa account ko. So, what's the point of doing that when you are not going to earn that much? Makakuha mo lang naman siya ni 68%. So, why are you going to waste your 32% of your money going to, like, parang binigay mo lang and parang nagkawang gawa ka lang kay YouTube. Parang ginawa mo you offering a reward to someone for clicking their ads and promising them, okay, you will say, I will raise your money for a third party for such kind of behavior. I'm not gonna be advertising this or I'm not gonna be campaigning for this because this is not the right way and I'm just going to risk one's channel if I'm going to do this. Now, it's it's kind of when you will say artificial, naging autom automatic siya, nagiging bot yung traffic source mo. You have to understand that generated through generated views or generated subscribers or generated of anything of any means to inflate 
any of your metrics. Tandaan nyo yun. And this is prohibited. Sinabi talaga ni YouTube dyan is, that is prohibited. Why it is prohibited? Because, obviously, ayaw naman ng YouTube na yung isang part lang ang makikinabang. Obviously, they have to do a fair game with the publisher and with the advertisers. Parang sinabi mo, oy, maraming bumili ha, pero hindi mo, parang di ba pa ganito, Uh, nagbabayad yung mga advertise yung mga isang company na nagbibigay ng mga leaflet pero anong ginagawa ng mga makikita nila yan eh kapag kapag nagkaroon sila ng random na ano na yung bang leaflet ay binigay o hindi o tinago lang ba nung binayaran nila na mag-advertise parang ganoon ang isipin niyo parang uh, paano nila makakasiguro na yung mga leaflet na pinadala nila sa advertising company ay maibibigay Because we have, I have experienced that myself when working before with one of the um, parang sobrang malaking company yon, and I was able to dig. Anong naga um, nago uh, nago audit ako? I'm not gonna be naming names, but um, nakita ko and I was able to sabi ko, paano nga naman kikita yung company nito? Eh, yung mga advertising para fernalia nila ay nasa ilalim ng kanilang building. How are they going to be known by the, a lot of companies that they do exist if the campaign is not working? Parang ganun lang yon, Parang ganun lang isipin nyo na pag ganun yung takbo ng ang isang advertisers, ang nag advertise lang ay sariling publisher. Parang you let, you, you, parang uh, hindi mo hinayaan na lumaki yung yung number in a right manner because what you do is you try to generate it by clicking it yourself or by asking your friends to click it or you have to really be very careful and be aware that you have to check the links in the external traffic source when you go to your analytics you go to your reach my external traffic source na napaka-importante ng maintindihan niyo tong parte na to because that's how are you going to check what's the source of my metrics saan ang gagaling yung iyong uh, watch hours because there are some and I can really testify some of my members na, na monetize sila ngayon kinagabihan wala na because when we saw it in the traffic source in the analytics wala na siya and um, she was very nung talagang nung nagsisimula pa it happened around May nagsisimula pa lang parang sobrang nagmamadali yung mga tao na mamomonetize sila and they were able to to meet someone na parang ginamitan sila ng uh, third party source para lang mamonetize sila and look what happened di ba sayang lang and um we always use the incentivization in the right way pwede ka namang magbigay ng incentive sa taong talaga nag-work for you but if you're going to say that you've used a third party to generate clicks or impressions and naiintindihan nyo na yung clicks and impressions ha? hindi ko na ulitin impressions kapag nakita yung inyong mga thumbnail sa home section hindi ko sinabi sa, sa YouTube sa Facebook only in YouTube features an allowed um, source of metrics pagdating sa mga impressions and when they click it dun kakikita ng click through Rate. So, when you're going to have an exchange of this, you have to make sure that they are not using any automated um, program to give you this reward of um, giving you clicks and impressions. So, if you're trying to say to manipulate the target of your ads para lang makakuha ka ng malaking revenue for that particular videos, gagamit ka ng mga irrelevant words. Gagamit ka ng mga... Um, parang you try to fool someone na parang, oh, ito merong ganito, and you try to uh, use keywords that are so irrelevant with your content. You have to bear in mind, huwag kang gagamit ng sobra-sobra mong keywords that is not applicable to you para makakakuha ka ng audience. Don't try to fool others just to get their attention. You have to make sure that you are not manipulating any of your data, any of your keywords, any of your um, metadata just to get and to to get a higher revenue para lang kumita ka. You try to, uh, parang sinasabi kasi dito is, you, uh, meron niyang particular word na sinasabi, uh, manipulative violation. So, if you're going to use this kind of technique, try to avoid Avoid this because this will just harm you and it will just disable your monetization. Now, publishers may not ask to refresh. Ito yung mga nangyayari. Minsan, di ba, pwede tayong mga live streamer, ikiklik natin yung ads na yan. And then, sasabihin nyo, oh, try to refresh, try to, try to do this. Just 
you are allowed to manage your ads during the live streaming but you are not allowed to ask someone to refresh and para sabihin mo, ay labas ka muna para naman magkaroon ako ng ads parang ganun yung mga ginagawa, ay labas pasok kayo para magkaroon ako ng ads yun sa mga live streamer that you are doing the paangat session, what happened is that during lalabas sila, papasok sila, mag ads yan, di ba? mag, um, parang okay uh, nandito na tayo, sa una muna tayo bababa nila yung link, lalabas ka magsusubscribe ka doon, papasok ka ulit so what happened is that you are encouraging them to refresh and to go out and in and out in and out, ito yung sinasabi pagdating sa violation, you are encouraging them to refresh or to click and ads going in and out of your channel. Again, that is a violation. Huwag na nating hintayin that you are trying to, parang sabihin mo, wala pa naman nangyayari. And you're, parang, um, you're offering rewards. Ang reward kasi dyan is habang pumipila ka, di ba? habang pumipila ka, dumad, yung parang you're waiting for your turn to be called para magkaroon ka ng subscribers. And this is the reward if you keep on participating in this kind of um, sub for sub. Gets nyo na ako? Parang sabihin mo, oh, okay, um, ang reward nito sa akin is labas pasok sila. Pag labas pasok sila, that's the reason why I've, I was telling you guys that if you are do if you are trying to accumulate 4,000 watch hours, don't allow them to go out. Just let them stay in your live streaming. That's where you gain the longer watch hours that they stayed, the longer your watch time will um, will give you. Kasi nga, hindi sila lumalabas. The same thing as when you are a monetized channel. Let them stay. And I really appreciate that people in my live stream, they are not going out and talagang yun lang sila, kahit lima lang yan, anim, pito, walo, or sampu, but they are staying, you see my analytics, you see my algorithm, that the watch time is sobrang haba, kung 30 minutes yan, ang, kung one hour yung live stream ko, ang average watch time ng, ng viewers ko, were 45 minutes, kasi ganun, ganun ko binavalue, ganun ko binibigyan ng halaga, yung each of the time that you are spending in my channel, and that's the reason why, if you try to do improper implementation of that will cost you to have this kind of disruption in your channel. It is your own decision. Hindi ko naman kayo binabawal or hindi ko kayo sinasabihan. I am just here to give you the right information because at the end of the day, if advertisers will place your place their ads into your channel, you have to remember that any of the generated accidental clicks, kahit sabihin mo na yun, ay lumabas kasi, ay ganito kasi, those were sabihin mo unintentional, but for YouTube, it is intentional. Kahit nag minsan kasi we're trying to parang, okay, ma-appeal po po naman yan, mag gagawa mo pa naman yung, marirectify mo pa naman yan. But, to modify, hindi mo na yan magagawa eh. Kasi, it was already there. If people were already like coming in and out, coming in and out of your YouTube channel. And, if you are trying to do live and, and the, the tendency is you go in and out, in and out. That's why sinasabi is, one of your channel will stay in the live streaming and then your other account is the one doing the, uh, uh, subscribing to the other account para hindi siya makita na sub for sub. That is, that is really a very wise strategy. Kapag ginagawa yan na parang sinasabi na, oh, gamitin mo yung isang account mo to subscribe, to watch, and to do this, that is really yung parang hindi matitrace na nag-sub to sub ka kasi hindi mo naman binalik kan yung isa. That's, that's, that, yun yung parang, if that, that practice really works, uh, Ryan, talagang salute ako sa nakapag-isip nun, kasi, eh, parang, hindi niya dinijopardize yung, yung, re, yung health ng isang channel, because, they're not practicing, practicing sub for sub, but, ang ginagawa nila is, they really promote one's channel. That is really, a uh, one way of, the right promotion, or the right way of, helping uh, the other creator by per, by letting them stay and you know kung paano man sila madadagdagan is using another gadget to subscribe to another channel yun yung mga technique na mga talaga <laughs> akala mo eh, permitted but you always always have to be careful now i'm not gonna be like uh going through other reasons na nandiyan na yung pornography, nandiyan na yung use generated content, nandiyan na yung mga ginagamitan kayo ng mga violation, yung mga words nyo, yung mga vulgar words, yung mga copyright infringement nyo, yung mga illegal content nyo, nandiyan na yan. Those were in place and I, the, those um, policies or those reasons of uh, being a channel get um, disabled 
medyo mahaba-haba yun at medyo sensi- sensitive yung mga yung mga yun and I wanted to give time for me to be able to discuss that so if you have any questions so far um, let's discuss it and let's have a pause after this um, recorded live but obviously if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment in my live stream and I will be able to discuss that the following day and again I'm very very grateful that you guys are watching my videos you guys are really like looking after my life ba siya ano yung i-discuss niya and I truly truly appreciate that because at the end of the day my purpose is to give you the right information to be able to give you some resolution if you're encountering different problems but again um again I just want to shout out brotherhood thank you so much for allowing me to post in your um, group chat kasi dun ko nakita yung mga ibang issues na pwede kong itakel sa aking um, live stream kasi una nakita ko dun is uh, yun nga tungkol sa Google AdSense compared to the Google Ads that's where I placed it and I hope I was able to help to that um, creator na naghihintay siya ma-verify yung pin niya and then uh, nakakita din ako dun na uh, the account was suspended because of the auto-generated bot so nakita ko dun yung iba't ibang situation ng iba't ibang creator where they need a resolution for each of their um, issues pagdating sa monetization because we all know how important it is for every creator kasi nagsasayang ka ng oras mo talaga eh uh, pagdating sa nang hindi nagsasayang but if you use your time well if you use your time properly if you use your time in the right platform in the right in, with the right information na binibigay mo sa audience mo nothing what time walang time na wini waste don both of the live streamer and the listeners because uh, I really wanted to reach out to you guys to be able to help that's the reason why there's Janice B membership I hope you guys um can um uh, join my membership for me for you to be able to get exclusive support from Janice B because that's how you're gonna get some resolution to each of your issues and, and I hope you're still enjoying my live streaming and let's continue to talk in the live chat okay thank you